Police are now expanding their crackdown on people who camp out on downtown sidewalks, but some, they say, won't go. Just last month, the city started enforcing the sidewalk rules in front of City Hall between 7 in the morning and 9 o'clock at night. And that was after we did an investigation and showed the mayor our exclusive video, which found the campers lighting up and drinking right in front of his office. Carla Castaño was behind that investigation, and she joins us now live with an update. Carla? Kelly, five campers were arrested today. Many more were warned after the mayor kicked the campers off of the sidewalk at City Hall. Many just moved across the street over to Federal and City Parks, but soon we're told the sidewalks will be cleared over here, too. There's no shortage of problems among homeless campers on the sidewalks near City Hall. Today we saw this homeless woman punched in the face by this homeless man. We offered to help her and call police. There have been more than 100 police calls about the campers this year. This is about lawlessness on the sidewalk. These sweeping changes were put into motion after we showed the mayor video we captured of questionable behavior, steps from his door. This oh. is your front, I mean, it's, right in front of your office and you're the police commissioner. Exactly right. He declared the sidewalk in front of City Hall a high pedestrian area, kicking the campers out in the daytime. Since then, police have been monitoring sidewalks and were out today letting the campers know they could be arrested for refusing to go. I got a warning, which I burned. Hi. But with a three-month waiting list to get into a shelter, those we talk to don't want to go anyway. I've been to the shelter, and they're horrifying. Still with a few million more in city funding for homeless resources granted in the last couple of weeks, some say there are new options. Help me get into housing. And I, and I would love to get into housing, but not somewhere where I got to be in by 11, not somewhere where my guests have to check in. That's not kind of the person I am. I, I, I can't do that kind of life. Once people are arrested and their property is taken, it will be put into storage and they'll have two months to reclaim it. Live in downtown Portland, Carla Castaño, Coin 6 News.